1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 6, The Lord killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. The Lord maketh poor and maketh rich. He bringeth low and lifteth up. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh. Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Next double honors to the head apostles slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the ones that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith regardless of people here for a better than the Lord kills. Now, now that scripture right there was plain as I don't know what. Just, just more reasons on why we should fear the God of the Bible. Who they eagerly call God and Jesus Christ, Yahweh by Shem because judgment is going forth each and every day. Judgment going forth, fucking bridges collapsing, fires, uh, people, people, boats turning over, and people flooding out. Come on, man, people are drowning in the water. But but seeing all these judgments ain't enough for the average ninja light. Seeing judgment, because it says the unjust know no shame, even though they seeing all this judgment. They're going to continue in their madness until the Lord judge them. That, that's what it's going to take. It's going to take judgment to stop these ninja lights from running their mouth, speaking nonsense, perverting the gospel, breaking down the scriptures the wrong way. The only thing that's going to stop them from doing all that nonsense is what, people? You guessed it. Judgment. All right? 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 6. The Lord killeth. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh killeth. We, we should be fearing, like, I don't know what, right about now, all, all this judgment. I'm looking at the news right about now. All this judgment, winter storms everywhere. You see? W wars popping off. The judgment ain't stopped, man. Judgment continues to go on each and every day. The Lord killeth. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. The Lord killeth, he keeps you alive, man. Each and every day you see these ninja lights, a.k.a. Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, tempting the God of the Bible. Each and every day with their nonsense, man. The Lord make it poor and make it rich. The Lord decides if you're sleeping in a house or if you're sleeping in, on a park bench in 20 degrees weather, man. You you ninja like you are still not getting the memo. You you you're still not getting it. The Lord said He ain't coming to bring peace on earth. He came not to bring peace, but a sword, which represents destruction. The only thing from here on now is coming on this earth is destruction, man. AKA judgment. But the unjust know of no shame. The Lord maketh poor, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh maketh poor and maketh rich. He bringeth low and lifteth up. So, so you ninja lights that, that are prideful, you know what I'm saying? Your pride is on swole. The, the Lord is going to bring you down low. You different heathen nations, you, you're very prideful. Starting out with sleeves to eat. The Lord is going to, look, a house is just caught on fire. Another house caught on, come on, man. The Lord determines if you make it out of that house fire, man. Or if he leaves you up in there to burn like a crispy, man. All right? Crispy. Enough hit and runs. Should, should, should there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it? Let's get that right quick, man. Just go ahead and get it. Because the scripture say, woe to that bloody city. So this place is almost out of here. Woe to that bloody city. Matter of fact, since the Lord keep having me quote that, let me get this right quick. Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 5. The just Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Every morning, look, every morning, do if he bring his judgment to light. He felleth not, but the unjust knoweth no shame. So the Lord is going to fry you ninjas, man. Shit up and down, man. He's going to execute the most of you. You see, builders, go. I mean, we, we go through this all the time through the spirit of your house, but Shemel, Shemel, all the above. You, you ninja lights are going to be getting ate by tigers and bears. You know what I'm saying? Lions, tigers, and bears. At least ye repent. 
Once again, Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 5, the just Lord is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Every morning do if he bring his judgment to light. He fell if not, but the unjust knoweth no shame. So you you got to see, I, I, know, I know you Nigelites out there see all this judgment going forth. No, no, you see all this judgment going forth. Second Ezra chapter 8, verse 3. There be many created, but few shall be saved. Few, aka the elect, shall be saved, man. Many are created, but few shall be saved. Our job is just to prophesy. You see? Our job is to give them one. And once again, second Ezra chapter 8, verse 3. There be many created. But few, one or two, but few shall be saved, man. And, and look, and, that, and that's plain as on nowhere. That's plain as on nowhere. That small remnant, that's who the Lord is looking for. That small remnant, man. Let's get that Amos. Matter of fact, before I even get that Amos, going through some of my favorites, you know, hitting some points, and then I'm going to wrap it up, about to head out. So rock, chapter 40, verse 9, death and bloodshed, strife and sword, calamities, famine, tribulation, and the scorch. These things are created for the wicked. These things look like a famine, the famine was created for the wicked, death, all this bloodshed, all this strife, meaning all this fighting. And the sword, which represents destruction, tribulation, you catch a prayer hell, and the scourge, meaning getting whipped. These things are created for the wicked. Are you Israelites not hearing that? These things are created for the wicked, and for their sakes came the flood. That's why we want to fear the God of the Bible. That's why we push fear heavy here, man. A great millstone. Because we know that judgment is something serious, especially when the Lord said, I ain't coming to, let's get it right quick. Especially when, when Lord Yahweh Shai, who they even called Jesus, said he ain't coming to bring peace on the earth. What is that, Luke? Let's get this right quick. St. Luke chapter 12. Basically, basically another lesson on, on a warning lesson. St. Luke chapter 12. Verse 49, and it reads, I come to send fire. On the earth. And what will I. If it be already kindled. That's what the Lord is coming to do. Bring more fire. This place is already going to be on fire already man. This devil about to come in like a flood. And the Lord is controlling this devil. To do what he's doing. The Lord controls all things. We, we, we read that all the time. Let's go to Proverbs 21. And I'm going to come right back to that. Because I want to read that one more time. But this is it right here. Proverbs 21. And one, the king's heart, meaning the, the ruler's mind. Whoever is ruling the earth, his mind is in the hand of the Lord. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, right? So the Lord is controlling when martial law pop off. The Lord is controlling when the gurgle troops kick down your front door and gun butt you. And ravish anything, ravish and spoil anything to sit in that household. But you don't, you didn't know that though, right? Too busy running your mouth, you know what I'm saying? The king's heart, meaning his mind, is in the hand of the Lord. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. And as the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will, man. So who's controlling everything on the face of the earth? The Lord. Who's controlling man? The Lord, man. All right? So let's go back. St. Luke 12, 49. I am come to send fire on the earth. And what will I if it be already kindled, man? Jumping down, 51, suppose ye that I am come to send Salaki. Suppose ye that I am come to give peace on earth. Because that's what everybody thinks the Lord is coming to do. You know, he's coming to bring peace. That's what the pastors in the church have been telling you. That's what these false Israelite groups, they don't even really speak about Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, though. You know? They, they they exalt themselves, man. But but what the Lord said, suppose ye that I am come to give peace on earth. I can't, I tell you, nay, no, but rather division, man. That's that's why the Lord is bringing up a whole lot of households. 
It, it, look, the world is upside down right about now. Everything is in turmoil right about now, man. If you're getting a good night's sleep, thank the Lord. Thank Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for that good night's sleep because the average person on the face of the earth ain't sleeping good at night. A whole lot of arguing, a whole lot of fighting. It's all according to prophecy. Everything that we see going on there, because remember, the scriptures say the things that are written the fourth time were written for our learning. The Lord said, I tell you nay, but rather division. You see? For from henceforth there shall be five in one house divided. So you're going to have a house full of people and ain't nobody going to come to agreements. You see? Everybody is going to be divided, man. The whole household. Three against two and two against three. Fighting and everything. Fighting over food, fighting over water, fighting over you name it, man. The father shall be divided against the son. And the son against the father, the mother against the daughter, and the daughter against the mother, and the mother-in-law against her daughters, her daughter-in-law, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. Look, man, and the Lord said, I'm making all this happen. So you're wondering why your household is in turmoil? Because that's called judgment. You see? You're wondering why ain't nobody in your household getting along? Guess what that's called once again? Judgment. And let, let's get this. You know, and I'm about to wrap it up. A couple more scriptures and I'm about to wrap it up. Just a quick little warning. Fear the Lord. He got all these things coming down the pipeline. Amos chapter 3 verse 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? And what's that trumpet? This word, this Bible, right? Shall there be evil, meaning bad times. Shall there be evil in a city? And the Lord have not done it. So all these shootouts, these stabbings, these fires, storms, floods, you, you name it. The Lord is doing it all, man. Once again, a, a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. A, a, a fearful thing. Let's see. Job 28, 28. And it's a man, he said, behold, the fear of the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh that is wisdom. And to depart from evil, meaning wickedness, is understanding. And the Israelites that don't depart, I, I read earlier, so rock was prepared for you. The Lord said he has prepared, he got death prepared for you. He got bloodshed, you know what I'm saying, being hacked up. He got strife, a whole lot of fightings. He got the sword, which represents destruction, calamities. He got a famine prepared for you. He got tribulation, most definitely prepared for you. You catching all, all kind of hell and the scourge. The Lord said he's going to whip you to death. And he got these spirits created for vengeance, man. So you don't want to test your luck. You tempt not the Lord, man. This is um, Psalms 115 and 13. He will bless them. That fear the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the Israelites that fear the God of the Bible, you're truly going to be blessed. You see, the Lord's going to show you favor. Lord willing, I'm of that number too. Remember, uh, many are created, but few shall be saved. Not a whole lot of people, not every Israelite on the face of the earth is going to get saved. Few is going to be saved. The, the, the majority of the Israelites are going to burn in that nuclear holocaust, man, when the missiles hit this place, man. You see? Or when them race wars, the class wars, the civil wars, when the economic woes, more um, earthquakes, more volcanoes, more storms, more floods, they're going to get taken out, man. Doing cannibalism, you name it, man. Most definitely they're going to be getting taken out during Jacob's trouble. But what the Lord said again, Psalms 115 and 13. He will bless them that fear the Lord. Yahweh by Shem both small and great, man. Proverbs 3 and 7. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord. Yahweh by Shem And depart from evil, man. Let's see what else. Matter of fact, I want to get, I want to get Sarah right quick. I want to get Sirach 11. Israel still can't come to the conclusion that the Lord is controlling all aspects of life. A whole lot of people going to end up homeless this year, man. This is a year of the turn up, man. A whole lot of you Israelites going to lose your jobs. You're going to lose everything, man. 
Fear the Lord. Sirach chapter 11. Verse 14. Prosperity in adversity. Life and death. Prosperity in adversity. Look up the meaning of those words, man. Life and death. Poverty and riches. Come of the Lord, man. Once again. More reasons why we should fear the God of the Bible because they control everything, man. The Lord made it possible for me to have a roof over my head to do this lesson early in the morning. The Lord willing, is edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. You see? He controls whether my wife goes okay or whether I'm catching pure hell. The Lord controls whether I live or whether I get put in a grave. You see? The Lord controls if I got money or I'm dead broke. All that come of the Lord. But but Israel, they, they don't they don't see, they don't understand yet. They think it's all because of them. It, the, the, this is the year of turning up your how about Shimon Shah gonna shut a whole lot of mouths, man. You see? Let's get this. Second Ezra chapter 8, verse 50. For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world. Great misery, man. It's going to come upon the majority of you people on the face of the earth, mainly you Israelites. Mainly you Israelites. Look, look, look. Because they have walked in great pride. We, we, are, we already know, according to the Bible, pride goes before destruction. And in haughty spirit before fall. Let judgment run down like waters, man. Jump it down, 2nd Ezra chapter 8, verse 61. And therefore is my judgment now at hand. So there's, look, turn on the news. T turn on the news and you'll see the judgment of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. All right? Pr pride is hateful before the Most High. And, man, no one loves a prideful person, man, a except for more prideful people. You see? A prideful person is loved by another prideful person. You see, the Lord got that misery coming, though, man. He got that fire coming. He got poverty coming. You see, he got adversity coming. More reasons why we should fear Yahweh by Shem Shai. I have made thee a watchman to the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. Psalms 9 and 12, uh, 20. Psalm chapter 9, verse 20. Put them in fear. Oh, Yahweh by Shem Shai, that the nations may know themselves to be but men. And that's what's happening there. And, and, and more to come. And, and more to come. Deuteronomy 6, 24. And the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Shai, commanded us to do all these statutes. So we rehearse the righteous acts. We rehearse the righteous laws, statutes, commandments of the Bible to the best of our ability. And, and there's a law of faith, too. The Lord said, without faith, it's impossible to please him, right? And the Lord commanded us to do all these statutes to fear the Lord, our power, for our good always, that he might preserve us alive as it is this day, man. You see? Because our shield, our buckler, is, is, is in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. All right? Come on now. So I just want, I want I'm, I'm going to go on and sign out through the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Just another, um, more reasons why we should fear the Lord. Shalom. In the damn morning.